Hey guys, good morning. I don't want to lose this, this atmosphere right now of what it is that God's doing. I don't want to lose this moment of, of worship. Last night, um, I had a, uh, my, my daughter, my, my wife and I are, are doing this system with her where if she gets so many good days, she gets these different re rewards and, and whatnot. And, and it's for my daughter, Emma, who's six. And we're just trying to help her understand uh, obedience in a greater way and, and things like that. But she, she gets these rewards if she ends the day on green. I'll just say it that way. It's a system very similar to what they use in her school. And one of the rewards she got, if she got seven days of being on green, she could have a sleepover with daddy in the basement. So last night she had a sleepover in the basement with me, and, and she wanted me to sleep on the floor. And I said, daddy doesn't do that anymore. And I said, I'll, I'll do it on the couch. And my back paid even for that this morning. But I was laying there, and I was trying to fall asleep, and I just couldn't. I couldn't fall asleep no matter how hard I tried. And I was laying there, and it dawned on me. I don't know if you've ever had those moments. Sometimes it's simply this. I know I should be asleep, and I'm not. And then you start to play the game of, well, if I fall asleep now, then I'll get this many hours of sleep. And then, do you know what I mean? And then you can't. Then it's game over if you're thinking that way. It wasn't that kind of moment. It was a moment where God had something to say. And I told Adam this morning, I said, God gave me a pretty, pretty meaty word for the church here this morning. And I want to read it to you. And I'm going to invite you, if it speaks to you in any way, I'm going to invite you to stand. And what I mean by that is if it, if it grabs your heart in any way, or if it's something that you're saying, I've been waiting for that. Because I believe that there are things that God is doing right now, even in our midst, in this atmosphere right now. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but worship continues to increase. And it's beautiful and it's awesome. But I believe that this is the word of the Lord here, not just for today, but it's what he's getting ready to do. A lot of times when God speaks to me, uh, it'll be like this. Well, you know, AJ, I see God doing this in your midst and, and God is preparing you. It's, it wasn't that kind of word. It was as if God's speaking through me through the first person. So I'm going to read this to you. And if at any point it speaks to you, grabs you, I want you to stand because at the end I'm going to pray for you and bless you and believe that God's even going to touch you in the midst of the hearing of this word. The Lord would say, if you stay the course, I promise to run right alongside of you. This is more than a race, it's destiny. This is the time where you won't grow weary. This is the time to be empowered by my strength. Get ready for a mighty rushing wind to blow through. All the dust of days past will be blown off of you, for I am healing the thorn of yesterday. You can't run with weight upon your shoulders. It's time to take me up on my promises. Time to come to the one whose yoke is easy and whose burden is light. Did I not say I would do these things? Am I not a God of my word? Do I not keep watch over what it is that I will fulfill? Grab the popcorn and sit back and watch and enjoy what I do in your midst. Enjoy the ride. I'm releasing my light upon you. The dead will rise. All will see the glory of the King. I'm a living God and it's time for my children to look the same. Seek and find, seek and find, fire awaits you at the dawn. Position yourself to receive. I'm not slow, I'm patient. This will be a time of empowerment, but it's time to move and it's time to accelerate. Your tires will no longer spin, it's time to gain traction. Be disciplined and be zealous for me. It's time to flourish. The areas of your life that were hindered by darkness are springing forth. I know how to water my word, says the Lord, and I'm pouring out my bucket upon you. No more delay. This is also going to be a time where trust in me increases and will become a permanent fixture within you. We are about to catch fire in a greater way, living and breathing fire, says the Lord. So Father, right now, I just bless each and every person in this place that's standing. And I pray, God, that it would be done. Prophecy is an invitation into intercession. And God, I intercede right now on behalf of every person in this room that was touched and ministered to by that word. Father, I thank you. This is the one that stands out above the rest. The thorn of yesterday, God is healing. God is healing the thorn of yesterday. And his wind comes and it blows off the dust of what took place in years past. So, Father, I just bless each and every person right now from the top of their head to the soles of their feet, God. We want God in our midst. We, I can feel that. We want God in our midst right now in a greater way, in Jesus' name. And I ask and pray that you'd pour out and you would accomplish all that you have said through that word, Father, in Jesus' name. And this is the other one that's standing out. Some of you need to hear this. He's not slow. He's patient. He's patient. He's not slow with you. He knows exactly what it is that he's doing. 
And Father, I thank you for this time of preparation, God, right now. And I bless each and every person standing, God. Holy Spirit, grab their hearts right now in Jesus' name. Touch them in a greater way, Holy Spirit. Release your grace. Release your grace right now, God. Release your grace over each and every one. Fulfill what it is you've declared. You are the God that keeps watch over your word. And it doesn't return void. So, Father, I bless each and every person right now at the hearing of my voice. And we welcome you, Holy Spirit. I think you've got awesome plans here this morning. We welcome you, God, in a greater way. Grip our hearts, God. Literally, come on. God, we want transformation. Grip our hearts. And can I be honest, God? A lot of us, we're ready, God. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. Let it be done as you have said. Let it be done, God, as you have said. Fulfill everything you've promised. We're not fighting against you. We're not resisting the grace of God. In fact, we receive your grace right now. By faith, we receive everything you have right now for this church, for individuals, for this community. God, in Jesus' name, let your light shine, Father, in a greater way. So I bless each and every one, God, right now. Great Spirit of God, great spirit of God right now the one who empowers the one who brings the dead to life the one who quickens mortal flesh Jesus I can feel your presence God right now I feel the presence of God in here whoa it's like a trembling right now it's the holy presence of God right now is in our midst right now the holy presence of God is in our midst right now God just being being silent we worship you right now God you know what I'm lifting my hand and I'm saying I thank you that you're a faithful God I thank you that you're a loving father I thank you that you're a faithful friend I thank you for my goodness in your life that we were singing about here this morning and I thank you that the greatest offering God is our heart we sang about that today God take me use me spend me father no more fear, no more delay. Now's the time. 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 Now is the time. No more delay. We love you, God, in this place. We love you, God, in this place. We love you, God, in all that you do and all that you are. Great Spirit of God. Father, I pray, just feels right in my heart, let your roar go forth from this house. Let your roar go forth from this place, God. You know what it is? It's the cry of a people that know they're loved. It's the cry of a people that know they're God's form and not against them. And this feels right too. I thank you that this is the day of vengeance of our God. Your grace, God, is more than sufficient right now. It's more than we could ask for. It's the abundance and the fulfillment of grace and truth. Come on, that sounds great, Dana, what you're doing. Keep flowing in that.
Come on. I see the Lord just touching broken hearts right now. I see the Lord touching broken hearts right now. If that's you, put your hand on your heart. Receive that right now. Receive that right now. If hope deferred has made your heart sick, put your hand on your heart. The Lord's touching hearts right now. Father, no more delay. No more delay, God. Let it be done as you have said. Amazing grace, God. Amazing grace. We love you, Lord. And we receive the abundance of that grace and the truth that makes us free in a greater way.